Hi, I want to share with you one of my favorite tools to write stories with students in early childhood education, or even in the upper elementary schools. I have been using this for a few days since I've seen it come across my Twitter feed, and I am absolutely in love with Storyscape. The first thing you need to do is register. This is in beta, so you will have to request an invitation. Once you request your invitation and you are verified, you can then click on Create a Story. Now, there are a set art sets that you can choose from. Different artists actually can submit um, different backgrounds and characters, and more and more art sets are added each day. So, for example, we could choose Arctic Origami. This brings up your front page here. Think about this as where this is where you'll design your book, and you'll need to add things in the background and characters in the foreground. You have a couple options for backgrounds. You click here, and you can choose specific colors, or you can choose specific scenes. You can then add in characters. When you add in the characters, you have a couple options. If you'd like to resize them, just pull down on this little triangle. If you want to mirror them so they're facing the other direction, you click here on Mirror. Maybe you want to add in a second character. So you can have, you know, your classic good guy, bad guy tale, or a trickster, something of that nature. And you can add in a penguin. And, but the penguin isn't standing on the polar bear. He might be behind him. To do that, you can arrange your characters. by moving them forward, moving them backward, moving them back, or moving to front. It's very easy to use. Then you have your text box where you add your stories. Polar bear and penguin wanted to play. You have a few options with the text boxes. Once again, you can pull and resize your text box. You can move it around and put it wherever you want. You can choose a white background a semi-transparent background, or no background. You can choose between two fonts and different font sizes. And then move it around so it fits. So after you have the page, and I would always pre-plan a story before using it with my students, I can then add another page. If my page is going to have the same setting and the same characters, I might just choose to duplicate the page by clicking here. And then I will be given a page down below. This is where you can sort between your pages down here. But what if your page is going to be completely different? Then you can just add a new page and choose that page. Once again, you get the white frame. So I can add a new background. Add my characters again. And type my text. And that's it. That's all you really need to know to have to be able to create a story on Storyscape. Once that's done, you will be able to publish your story. You can save your story, or you can publish the story. Now, there are some features. A reader app is coming out, I think, for Android. And you can add certain features that will make the characters see how they're moving. That will make them move by when someone shakes it or when there's a sound in the phone. Currently, they're set up to move while all the time. So this is a very exciting app, and I have been having so much fun playing with it. I highly recommend it to all teachers.